done for our franchise over the years. If we did not have him, we would not be where we are with promising young guys still improving. All the best, Kenny. As you mentioned, Kenny will move on to something very good. But yeah. what he built, too, is good with some of the young players. Thinking, obviously, guys we've heard from today. Dinwiddie, mm -hmm. Levert, Harris, and then, of course, last season, D'Angelo Russell and the way he blossomed. For his reputation going forward, there's, there's, it's going to really help Kenny, I think. And it'll probably be a fit similar to what he came to with the Nets you know, three years ago or so. And I just think that um, when you think about the, the development and then you think about you know the, the other players on this team, Maybe there's, you know, with Ke Kyrie Irving and, and Kevin Durant, there's really not a development stage for those guys. More it becomes a communication, a blending. If you, if you think about Kenny right now or any coach coaching the and Jacques Vaughn, if they had Kyrie Irving and a healthy, both him and, and Kevin Durant, it becomes almost who's the puzzle solver now? How do you get it all to work? And I think the next coach, you know, with Jacques, Next year, if he's the head coach of this team, I think he's going to have to be a puzzle solver in terms of what talent do they keep from this particular team that they bring in new guys to blend and match up with Kyrie and Kevin Durant. And from the file of wouldn't it have been nice, yep. it would have been nice for to see how Kenny would have worked with KD and Kyrie Irving healthy, a full squad next season. I, I would think, you know, not to put words and thoughts into Kenny's mind and not to speak for Kenny, but I would think, you know, knowing Kenny in terms of how he is as a competitor, wanting to build something that he thinks that he had turned the corner, especially with helping these players with the player development. If, if it were me, I would be saying, yes, I want to get a chance to coach Kyrie and, and Kevin Durant on the same floor with the guys I have right now, figure it all out. I think that would be the fun part of it. But um, And I think Kenny, I mean, if you asked him, I think he would say that. I mean, I think a normal coach would say, if you give me more and more talent, no, I don't want more and more talent, I'll take less. It just doesn't make sense <laughs> right. to me. So I'm sure he would want wanted the chance to do that. You know, I thought Grady brought up a good point in terms of the timing. They had the great win against Boston, yes. lousy game against Memphis, big bounce back in the last game against the Spurs with 139 points. Maybe for Jacques Vaughn and these players, it's finding a way to kind of level things off, not have all those ups and downs because that last game that was a full 48 minutes of work for it that it was team. And, and the thing about that bob is to remember that you know we t we're talking about sean marks we're talking about kenny atkinson and and jacques brought up the fact that the players weren't resilient maybe they're not hearing the message or what have you i mean i can buy into that a little bit and and sometimes you do lose a locker room you lose a dugout in different sports but i think overall the resilient part of that is the players have to come out and be resilient, right? The Kenny Atkinson can just prepare them, and he was very, very good with his coaching staff, as you just heard Jacques Vaughn say that he was preparing this week for the Chicago game on a Sunday afternoon. So they were always always prepared. I think they had a good understanding of it. So some of this has to, if we're going to go up and down with the wins and losses, can't just fall all on Kenny. It has to fall on some of the players also, just being fair. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. They've got to bring that today because right. this is one of those games.